This is actually one of the big new restoration projects here yes. at Mapperton. And I'm really looking forward to the bath because it's going to be this way. You're going to lean back and you're going to have these wonderful views of the stables, the countryside, and I can wave to other people on the other side of the house over there. Looking up, that this column oh, goodness. is in a dreadful state oh my and gosh. needs repairing. You can see that one is cracking at the back. Oh my goodness. But they are so sun damaged. Look. Oh gosh, don't, why are you? I, well, because they're so far gone, it's not going to make any difference. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You hadn't even seen that side. So, but is this, what's this material? Well, it Did might, it's probably silk. Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we really wanted to talk to you all and be completely honest about uh, how difficult it is actually to run this manor and the wider estate because it's not easy. When I first married into this family, of course, there's all those wonderful, very gilded dramas uh, that in one sense are almost like fairy tale like and you think, oh, this is what it's going to be like once I marry a lord. <laughs> and, you, mean, and, you mean it hasn't been a fairy tale? I think it's been a fairy tale. No. Some of it oh. has been a nightmare. <laughs> what? Some of it has been a that nightmare. Is, that's I have language. been in tears here. It's a lot of hard work. Sometimes I wish I could clone myself, but I think we want to be able to explain to everybody some of the hardships that there are in particular uh, with our house and, and this estate and why? At the beginning of the year, we look ahead and we think, what are the big repair projects that we've got to undertake? And we go through a list and we top them up and then we gulp because really it's the cost of maintaining these mm. buildings that is so difficult because in the past you used to get a lot more income from the estates the wider estate to support all of the costs that you had and these days there's much less of that so we have to come up with innovative ways to fund and repair things and this year the list is feeling pretty long there are some quite substantial things that we've got to do and we've just had one or two of the estimates in um, eye-watering and they were eye-watering indeed. Julie the other constraint that we have here is of course that a lot of these buildings are listed so it means that you've got to use the right craftsman to do the work, you've got to get things approved with the council before you go ahead um, and in many cases with Historic England so there's a whole process that goes into quite a lot of this. Okay. On can I just add something there yeah. as well? And it's, we've mentioned this before in our videos that this is a grade one listed property. And at least for me, I know that there's something similar in America, but when I came over here, I actually didn't understand what that meant. But grade one listed, it means that it's of exceptional architectural or historical value. But it does mean that the buildings are all on a register, which means that um, we can keep track of which buildings are at risk and which buildings are going to be eligible for certain grants and things like that. But there isn't very much money these days, public money available to help with the preservation of these buildings. We as owners have to do that ourselves. And this year we've got quite a few big ones kicking off with the orangery. And yes. now we're going to go and visit the orangery and have a look at that in a minute. We've also got the eagles, which you will have seen from a previous episode, are no longer on their perch. We've got lots of track repair this year, potholes in the main roads. Which we're responsible for we're, those potholes because it's our road. So the road even that the visitors come on uh, to come uh, into the house and gardens. The library yeah. is, Look at the curtains The library is in desperate need of a paint job and more than that actually and there are some pretty horrible dead insects that I've discovered mm -hmm. recently which aren't mm -hmm. you know, affecting the fabric of the building but they're not very nice for visitors either. So we've got this very long list and it's one of the reasons that we have this channel because this channel is one of the ways that we raise funds to support Mapperton and we're quite innovative 
in we that are respect, quite we? we are quite innovative and the other one that you did forget another that is on the list is the chapel room uh bathroom so these old historic houses you know usually there was one bath but that's all going to be revealed on a future episode what's that saying you have keep calm and carry on I th yes, I think that's, uh, that's an important uh, mantra at uh, historic houses. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're going to show you these different areas that hopefully this year we can um, work on achieving. So first up on the repair list for this year, is it first up? Actually, it might be quite far <laughs> down. In fact, I have a funny feeling it's not going to happen. But it would be really nice if it did, because it really needs to look at these poor curtains. I don't know whether these came from Hinchingbrook, because some of the curtains here did, so it's quite possible. But they are so sun damaged. And look. Oh, gosh, don't. Why are you? I, well, because they're so far gone, it's not going to make any difference. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. You hadn't even seen. So, but is this, what's this material? Well, it might, it's probably silk. It is silk, okay. Um, and, um, and these will, yeah. I mean, so what would we do with them? I mean, I would still want to keep some of the material no, and maybe no, make cushions. No, no, I don't Why wouldn't you make cushions? Because it, it's so sun damaged. Um, I mean, the thing about these curtains and the reason we haven't done them yet is that at least they close. <coughs> but they really, I think, need to be bumped up the list. In terms well, of I think we do want sort of ceiling to floor curtains. It'd be interesting to know what people think. Do you think curtains are a priority compared to some of the other things we're going to show you? Let us know. But also, don't you think floor to ceiling? No. No? No, no, I, no, no, oh. definitely not. There's just like this as well, which has been obviously repaired. Yeah, you can see this one has been patched up at some point, which just means that the... I mean, it's, it's really just coming apart in my fingers. Right. Well, wow. I, better, I better not tear it too much because if it doesn't get done, I'll regret it. Onto oh the library. Oh my goodness, look at some of these. Like, look at that material in the inside. You see? Everywhere. Everywhere. And that is huge repair because you have to get proper curtains. Well, at least the hall has curtains. Yes. Because in the library, we don't have any at all. No. And if, and if you look up at no. the curtain rails, you can see that once upon a time, there were curtains here. But I think they... What's happened to them? They were so far gone that we just took them down. Oh, my goodness. So we need curtains here. But look also at the repairs that are needed for these windows. And I don't know if you can see... Well, I can. But they're actually double glazed, which is a good thing. But within the double glazing is a whole swarm of dead insects. Oh, my gosh. Insects. Ooh. And some of them are still alive, actually. Look along here. Okay, yeah. Um, but, so, but all of this needs, needs repainting. But then would you do ceiling to floor curtains here? Probably. Yes. So and and certainly over there where you've where we don't have curtain where you don't curtains have, but we have got yeah. the curtain rod. So here but not in, in the library, the I think I think the job is is it's quite simple actually. It's it's mostly redecorating, repainting, and getting new curtains and. But that's them. still expensive. Curtains are expensive. Oh, hugely Cur expensive. Yeah. Can yeah. you explain so. to everybody that? <laughs> I mean, well, I didn't realize until I moved over here how expensive curtains well, are. Well, <laughs> They're so expensive. We'd, we'd have to get them specially made, obviously, and we'd have to um, probably rehang them and, and change the rods and things up there. Yeah. But there's another thing that. that we'd quite like to do, which is to reinstate the missing bookcase. So there was a bookcase here, which reflected the ones that we've got there. I think it's in the Munimit room. And I think it's in the Munimit room, exactly. So. So actually turning this back into a little bit more of a library because we've also got a lot of books that we need to store. Yes, yes. So, so there's definitely some work to be done in the library. I can also see all along the edge there. There's a lot of, of cobweb. cleaning. Wow, look at the cobweb possibly there. Possibly repainting that is needed. Yeah, in I think, Luke, repaint cobweb there. 
Yeah. But what would you do? Can I just ask, with this beautiful 18th century ceiling, would you repaint all of it? I think the ceiling is okay. I don't think we need to repaint it. You just it. clean but it. There's, but there's quite a lot of other bits. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This wall's actually damaged. There's paint popping off. Okay, yeah. This is, how far up on the list is this? I suspect this is quite low down compared to some other things. Oh. Yeah, yeah because there's a big one coming. Living at Mapperton is a great privilege, but it's also a big responsibility. Most of all, we've got to make sure that we repair and maintain this extraordinary house and all the historic buildings, as well as the collection of pictures and furniture and archives for future generations. And these are such important parts of our shared heritage. But to do this, it costs hundreds of thousands of pounds each year. And we have such a big backlog of repairs and things that need doing. From stonework to picture restoration, we've got thatching and of course tapestries. Tapestries. <laughs> but we are so grateful to our global community of patrons for their support. And it really does mean we can complete restoration projects and repairs that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Now, as a patron, you get some amazing benefits. And these include things like early access to all our videos. We do extra videos on Mapperton Live for patrons only. Signed photos uh, from us, of course. Uh, then there's tea towels, magnets, bookmarks, postcards. We also have live monthly Q and A's with Julie and me and our patrons, as well as discounts on staying at our holiday lets here at Mapperton. There's also, for the top tiers, an annual live tea party. Plus, you get your name in the patron book next to the First Earl's Journal in the library. But more importantly, you get to connect with us and other patrons and join a wonderful growing community that, you know, it's really supporting this important part of England's heritage. So please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. And we really look forward to meeting and welcoming you there. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is a project that has been on the list for some time. As... I'll tell you when. So this was a project that was on the list in 2019. We had plans drawn up because we wanted to put a bathroom in for my yoga retreat, but then the pandemic hit. We lost all visitor income for basically almost two years and we weren't able to do it, but we're resuscitating this job um, because of Grand Historic Tours. Grand Historic Tours is this new opportunity for people to come and stay at Mapperton. If you're interested, you can go to grandhistorictours.com to find down below. out more. But Julie is absolutely right. We've got people coming, we're delighted to say, in October. And this is going to be one of the rooms that they're in. But Americans, like most normal people, mm -hmm. expect bathrooms. And there is no bathroom here. That's right. So as we sort of wind our way through there is a there is a little annex which would have been a dressing room right. originally i think it's a beautiful room for a bathroom i have to be perfect and i'm excited about this this is going to make a great bathroom isn't it it yeah. is going to make a great bathroom the other thing is we've been in here a couple of times because malcolm and i looked at the designs before but again putting in a bathroom here and in this house is not easy but this is again another big project that we definitely will be doing this year that one <laughs> this one it's top of the list is very high on the list it's, it's going to happen and we'll be filming it all for you um and it's starting very very soon so i'm really excited about it this is actually one of the big new restoration projects here yes. at mapperton and i'm really looking forward to the bath because it's going to be this way. You're going to lean back and you're going to have these wonderful views of the stables, the countryside, and I can wave to other people on the other side of the house. 
over there. Okay, so, not um, really, but yeah. But this is, stay tuned. If you're new to our channel, do be sure to subscribe because I think you're gonna want to see this bathroom being uh, renovated. Julie's, nice. Julie's in charge, which it's, yeah. as, as you know, it makes me nervous. No, 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 it's gonna be brilliant. It's gonna be brilliant. We are standing in front of the house and looking up at these gate piers and of course they are missing their eagles. That's right. Which have been sent off for repair and we've finally had the quote back in today. I fell off my chair. My eyes started watering. It wasn't so, good, was it? No, so we've got to figure out what we're going to do about that, to be honest, and that's a conversation I think yeah. we need to have. These eagles are almost as old as Mapperton. They are a couple of hundred years old and so they need to be there. They are part of the fabric of this place and it feels very naked and bare without them. And yet we've got to find the funds to get them repaired. That, that one hurt. That one, that, we're going to have to do some serious thinking about that one. And yeah. of course it has to be pretty much top of the list because it looks very odd without them and we've got visitors coming in a couple of months. Yes, we do. But the repairs do not end here. No. How many more do we have on the list? Oh. We've got one more, one more that we one think... One more today, but endless <laughs> numbers more on the list. Who knows what the year will bring? So your grandfather built this, didn't he? He built the orangery and um, in order to build it, he moved the pergola, which is further down, which was here. Now, this orangery was therefore built, I think, in the 60s. Mm. And it looks like it's been here. It's actually the only building that has the family crest on it. You can see the three lozenges at each end. And also, that's an element from the crest. Well, I mm. think you might be right. I am. But you can also see that, <laughs> looking up, that this column oh, goodness. is in a dreadful state oh and gosh. needs repairing. You can see that one is cracking at the back. Oh my goodness. But worst of all, and I think in absolute imminent need of repair, because they're going to fall over if we get a heavy wind, are these windows. Well, I mean, and the doors. I think you can do Look both. at this. It's just... He's sort of... You're, you're kind of taking everything that needs a repair and making it even worse, well, like I, the curtains yeah, and now this. <laughs> I, figure, I figure that if I do that, it'll force us to do something. You know that feeling that you've really got to kind of okay. get something done. Th this one has been sitting on the list for years and, it's, and these, these frames here are barely able to sit within the timbers because look, it's just coming off in your hand. So of course, this is bad on this window, but the point is, that it's every single window that we need to replace here. And can I just ask about this right here? Well, just, well just, just, do you know what those are? No. This is a strange dorset nesting termite that builds these little white mounds. What? And burrows its way through, no. through the back. Yeah. I so mean, it's, it's a so very- So we'd have to remove that as well. It's a very rare species. Uh, that's not true at all. Oh. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why she fell for that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris did as well. Chris Melford. It's, it's a stalactite. It's where the water is dripping down through the orange tree. We both believed you. <laughs> Who else? Comment down below. Did you believe that? That was actually, I mean, it was, it was really good. Was that good? Yeah, yeah. it was great. I mean, it was definitely it's worrying, believable. It's worrying that those I, termites. I can, um, <laughs> I can be so mendacious and get away with it. So, so it's just the buildup of calcium from, from there. Oh you my. see, because it's been dripping because this place has leaked so much over the centuries that uh, eventually we'll have a whole, is it a stalactite or a stalagmite, the one that goes up? I can't remember. Somebody will know that. I just thought it was termites. And <laughs> <laughs> it all rhymes, doesn't it? Anyway, right. we are laughing here in the face of um, some quite serious work that serious. needs to be done. But, you know, at the end of the day, that is the responsibility that we have. That's what you take on when you are the custodian of these places. 
But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching our channel. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe to our channel. It definitely helps us. And do check out our Patreon community. All the details are down below. Definitely stay with us this entire year because hopefully you'll be watching all these repairs happen in real time. Well, we'll film them in real time. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots to do, but it's going to be fun, even if it's going to be expensive. So yeah. um, let's just get on with it. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye.